And it looks as though Thanawat Sungshitawan will be the first penalty taker. Would have been involved last season with the under-23 side that uh, beat Salford on penalties in the Papa John's Trophy. Took them through to the, the quarter-finals. Make your mind up early and stick with it. That's the only advice <laughs> I can give. So first up in the penalty shootout for Leicester, the Thailand international, Thanawa Sung Chitawa. And it's saved by Garrett to the delights of the Burton crowd. And we're still waiting for the first goal in this game. <laughs> Yeah, short run up as you see. Keep it's always as a keeper, if you if you dive the right way, you'll always give yourself a chance. Unfortunately for Danawa, not far enough into the corner. It's an easy save in the end for the keeper. First up for Burton is one of the substitutes, Joe Powell. It's a much longer run up. And it's the, the man mounting Daniel Everson in front of him, and it's very well taken into the corner. Everson not far away, but not near enough. It looks as if he gets a handle that, John, doesn't it? As you say, it's a par. Good par on it, good direction, good placement. He just can't get enough on it. Luke Thomas next up for the Foxes. Probably the Leicester man of the match through this game. He can uh, top it off by slotting home his penalty in front of the Burton fans, waving to Try and distract him, and it might have worked because Garrett makes another save. Now well, again, Neil Thomas far too close to the keeper. Keeper guesses the right way. Again, not a very long run up, longer than Donna Watts, but not that long a run up. Poor connection on the ball, you have to say, from Luke. Samari Patrick. Who will take the next Burton penalty, could give them a two-goal advantage in the shootout. But it is a wonderful save from Daniel Everson. Brilliant work from the Leicester goalkeeper. He sort of telegraphed that, didn't he? Amari Patrick with his run-up, you could sort of tell what he was going to do. Still by, you can tell by a standing leg, the angle, the standing leg is positioned, but he's going to sweep round on it. Guess is the right way, great save. Kalecci Inacho, one of the more experienced Leicester City players to step up to hopefully score Leicester's first in this shootout with level scores up. And fires it over the bar at the end of the ground where he scored in the League Cup back in October 2019. He skied that one. Well, I don't know what to say about that. It's just, it's obviously, he sent the keeper the wrong way, but... If anything, he leans back a little bit too lackadaisical. A chance again for Burton to take a two-goal advantage in the shootout after three penalties for each team. And it's Blake Tracy, former Peterborough defender. A stuttered run-up and rolls it into the bottom corner. An advantage very much with Burton Albion now. Has he been watching Jorginho <laughs> from Chelsea? That's, that was a carbon copy of his, wasn't it? We weren't expecting to see that, were we? But emphatic with his finish, if a little bit unorthodox. Well, Keenan Dewsbury Hall has to score. Leicester have missed all three of their penalties. Being not happy with the positioning of the ball. If he misses, Burton win. If he scores, Leicester is still just about in the shootout. And he does score off the post. The goalkeeper went the right way. But this next penalty could win it for Burton Albion. Yeah, good execution, good pace, good placement. You say keeper guesses, but talk about precise in off the post. <laughs> Bryn Morris to win the Bass Charity Vase for Burton Albion in front of the Burton fans will be urging him to score and he does a 
Burton Albion.